Hey guys, I'm Julie Barrett with Conservative Ladies of Washington, bringing you the bill of the day. So today we started the second half of the legislative session and bills are now crossed over from their chamber of origin where they passed out of. Cutoff was last night at 5 p.m. So if a bill didn't pass through its chamber of origin by five o'clock last night, it's dead for the session, but not dead for good. It could come back next session. Bills that did pass cutoff and get voted out of their chamber of origin will now pass over into the opposite chamber where they will go through the same process. Once again, they'll go through committee hearings where they'll have public testimony, executive session, and then there will be votes on it. And then once it is uh, passed through both chambers, then it would be signed into law by Governor Inslee. So today is the first day back into hearings and I was testifying on Senate Bill 5019. Senate Bill 5019 had a hearing today in the House Education Committee and this bill is concerning classified staff providing student and staff safety. Now this bill is actually a correction to a bill that passed last year and that was House Bill 1664 which conservative ladies of Washington was opposed to and which I personally testified against. House Bill 1664 was to create more uh, school counselors, school nurses in our government school system. And we are opposed to such bills because we think schools should be for education purposes only. And we have seen what has happened with the push for healthcare, mental health care into our government schools. And as we look at what was passed in 1664 with some of the bills that we've got going on this session, it makes it even worse because if you have that healthcare stuff in the schools, then it works with bills like Senate Bill 5599, which I'm sure you all know, is the um, protected healthcare services for minor children where they don't have to give you um, parental notification if your child is seeking uh, gender transformation services or an abortion. So like I have said before, it's a web and all of these bills are interconnected and you have to look at each bill with how it relates to other bills that are either passed or proposed legislation. So Senate Bill 5019 is affixed to 1664 because what was happening after 1664 got passed is that some school districts in Washington state were using the funding for these social emotional staff positions for safety resource officers or other safety personnel in the schools. And as you can imagine, the Democrats in Washington state did not like this because this was not the intent of their original bill, but there was nothing in the original bill that said you couldn't use these funds for uh, safety personnel, such as a safety resource officer or a hall monitor or somebody that's gonna just be enforcing rules and keeping children safe. And, and we know that people in those positions are critical to our students because they provide such a great opportunity for kids to learn respect, to have boundaries, and they typically have great relationships with the staff on campus. And so our opposition to Senate Bill 5019 kind of goes back to our original opposition to House Bill 1664 that was passed last year. We don't believe these services should be part of the public school system. We believe that the schools need to get back to educating children, teaching reading, writing, writing and arithmetic. We know that our public school students are failing in mass. I think it's 73% are failing the state math test and over 50% are failing the state English test. That's huge. Get back to teaching our kids academics and stop getting healthcare and mental health and all of these other things involved, social emotional learning, critical race theory. It's all just a bunch of garbage that is creating chaos and confusion for our children. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here, but Senate Bill 5019 should be a concern to you as a citizen because you vote for and elect your local school board. And what this bill is saying is the state wants to take control over how your school district and your school board can decide to use these funds. So this bill will now move to executive hearing one week from today on March 16th at 8 a.m. And I'm gonna give you links um, in the comments so that you can email the House Education Committee and let them know that you do not support this bill and that you want your local school board and your local school district to be able to use 
these funds as they see fit for the students in your district. It's really important that citizens understand what these laws are, what kind of impact they have, and so that they can make their voices heard. And I would encourage you, and I brought this up in my testimony before the committee today, they scheduled this com committee hearing at 8 o'clock a.m. on a Thursday morning. Well, most parents are in the middle of breakfast and getting kids ready to go off to school, driving kids to school. They don't have the time at eight o'clock on a Thursday morning to sit through a house education committee to speak for two minutes in opposition to a bill. But you can write to the committee and let them know your thoughts. So hopefully I've given you some information about Senate Bill 5019 today that you can use to craft an email to the committee members and let them know that you do not support this bill and that you want them to vote no and not pass it out of committee. I'm going to try to come back to you guys with more of these quick videos telling you about different bills that are going through our legislature right now because it's so important that citizens are aware of what's happening in Olympia so that you can take action and you really are educated on what the lawmakers are doing and how it's going to impact you, your children, your family, your business, and all of that because there's a lot going on. It's like a fire hose of bad legislation and we need you to know what's going on, to share what's going on, and to get engaged and take action. I also wanna ask you to please support the work that we are doing at Conservative Ladies of Washington by considering joining us as a member. Men and women both can join us. You go to conservativeladiesofwa.com. If you don't wanna become a member, you can just make a donation. That's really helpful. We spend a lot of time and resources in the work that we are doing to fight for Washington and fight for our freedoms and fight for our families. And we would like for you to join us in this fight. We are stronger in number and Washington is worth it and our kids are definitely worth it. Thanks so much for listening and I'll see you again next time.